Song for the story world. Hello, Dave Corbett here again with part two of the video of how I make my podcasts, or at least one. Uh, three little pigs. So there's one thing I need to clear up. When I talked last time about the keyboard, I said I was pressing things on the keyboard. There are two sorts of keyboard, of course. One is the computer keyboard, and the other is the keyboard I play to make the music. And so I'll try to be a bit more clear about what, which one I'm talking about next time. But um, we'll see what happens anyway. Here we go. So let's have a quick recap. Uh, last time we looked at the 12 string guitar, where it all started from. Uh, I'd add bass, and up here, uh, a rough, oh, hang on, it's just disappeared. There it is, uh, a rough guide to, so I could remember the song. So after that, I added some percussion, which is down here and I added a conga sound. So uh, I wanted something very, very simple. So if I just um, solo this, that's the S here, it'll turn yellow and play this, you'll hear a very simple conga sound, which I played on the music keyboard, uh, which is connected by MIDI to uh, the Apple computer. So here's the sound here. Very, very simple. Uh, after a little while, um, I put on this electric piano sound. I'll solo this, solo that one. That just goes uh, a part of the song. So that, come, that will come here. And it'll come again. You see, I could carry on playing, so I'll get rid of that one. Uh, and then here in the verse, we've got some strings. If I just solo those, so you'll be able to hear what those sound like. And I'll get those playing. Here we go. Here in the second part of the verse, we've got some pizzicato strings and a harp. I'll join all these together. I'll just lasso those and get rid of that one. Just lasso these and play these so you will hear the pizzicato, bit of the harp and that flute. Here we go. Oh hang on, I haven't selected that one. There we go. Right, here we go. Back, back we go. Oh, I still didn't have it on. I'll play it again. There comes the flute. So that's those. Uh, right, I'll just unselect all these which have been soloed. Um, and that's it. Let's have a listen to all the... Um, I'll solo all the instrumental and we'll just listen to the instrumental bits. So over here I'm going to solo the 12 string guitar, the fretless bass, the bit of uh, percussion, a bit of conga, um, the keys here and strings, flute, pizzicato and harp. And I'll start the thing somewhere here-ish. So it's going to start round about here and it'll play everything that's been selected down here, soloed down here. So this is all the instrumental bits then. <laughs> Oh, it's a bit of 
tambourine in there as well. Okay, so I'll unselect all this lot and we'll now have a quick look at where these sounds come from. So for instance, we've got a, let's look at this electric bass here. The sound of course is inside the Apple Mac computer and it's all digital information. There is, uh, we're not recording any actual sound, we're recording digital information uh, which will then be played back to make a sound. So if I go to the bass here and I go to down here, now these strips here are what uh, various instruments are. So down here we can see that this strip here is to do with the bass, which is there. This is the output, that's the overall output. So I'll let me just solo the bass for a moment. So solo the bass and I'll start us off using the computer keyboard, just play anything really. So there's the bass and you can see this level down here. That's the overall outlet output. This is just the bass output, so I can, this here, I can adjust the sound of the bass. If I add another sound here, I'll put in the 12-string guitar, solo that as well. And now I can use this, that will control the bass and the guitar. But because the bass is selected, this channel here is just the bass. If I select the 12 string guitar, this channel here is just the guitar. Stop it. Okay, let's have, just have a quick look at where these sounds are. So this is channel here is now I've set for the bass because I've got the bass track selected. And this thing here, EXS24, it's what's called a sampler and that will take any sound that you put into it and turn it into digital information which you can then turn back into a sound later on. So if I double click this EXS24, this comes up, which I can move around, let me put it down here, and we can see here I've got fretless electric bass selected. Now I could actually click that and then this will give me a whole pile of different sounds that I could use. I've got acoustic piano sounds so instead of having the bass playing that I could have an acoustic piano playing it. Uh, I could have different basses. Acoustic bass, electric bass, synthesizer bass, all these are different sorts of sounds of a bass. Drums and percussion. So if I go to the drums and percussion here, I've got acoustic drum kits, electronic drum kits, single drums, kicks, snares, toms, triangles, and then I've got keyboards. Oh, there's no end of stuff. Synthesizer sounds, pop strings, pop horns, orchestral, uh, down here I've got something called ESQ1. Now once upon a time I had a synthesizer called an ESQ1. I got rid of it uh, and got a different synthesizer but just recently, within the last few months, I thought it would be nice to have some of those ESQ sounds back. So I bought some information, digital information, which gives me some of these ESQ sounds that I once had. They once were a big keyboard, now they're just digital information inside my computer. Korg 01W, that was one of the best things I ever had, a synthesizer. Uh, and again here, I've got all these things. In fact, let's choose just one of them. I'll choose this one up here. It's called a marimba. No special reason I'm choosing that. But if I just select that marimba by clicking on it, click. Now this has changed now, look. To marimba. So if I come out of here and go to this track which still says fretless electric bass but actually it's now a marimba. So if I solo it 
and play it, let me just play it from anywhere, instead of it'll play the same notes as the electric bass was playing, but now it'll sound like a bit like a marimba. I'll turn the volume a bit. That boom is because I was using a, um, um, a fretless bass sound, which you can do that on a fretless bass, um, but of course <laughs> you can't do it on a marimba. But that information is still here, but we're just now using a marimba sound. So all these different sounds then, and they all come from here, EXS, double click, and they're all there, all those sounds. So we'll leave it at that with the instrumentals and next time we'll have a look at the vocals and perhaps I, how I treat the vocals like a bit of reverb or something like that. Now if you have any ideas about these podcasts, if there's anything you'd like me to try and explain or go through, anything at all, please let me know and I'm going to try to put on uh, uh, an address, an email address at the bottom of this screen where you can contact me. But anyway, it's budley37 at gmail.com. Budley is a place where I live. B E W D L E Y, budley37 at gmail.com. And I would love to hear from you with any constructive comments that you might have. Until next time, bye-bye. Some story world.